what do you think about the statement that agents get rich quickly? I mean, this is one of the you know perceptions out there in the in the free world. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is episode number 16 of Property Jabs with Wayne Invest. And uh, today, <laughs> today we're not gonna talk about cones and <laughs> cone corruption. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's not get in trouble this time. <laughs> at least let's skip this time, we'll do it next time. Yep, uh, next time we'll get in trouble. I wanted to talk about or debunk a few myths and misconceptions about real estate. Mm, okay, this will be interesting. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know what's coming up. This is no. all yeah, <laughs> fire from the hip sort of stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about the statement that agents get rich quickly? I mean, this is one of the you know perceptions out there in the in the uh, free world. <clears throat> no, def definitely not. Because what people are doing is looking at the very top agents, mm. and, and they can get rich. Yeah? It's absolutely fantastic. The the bottom end of the agents, if you're on the scale, and I say the bottom end is the earning scale, uh, uh, below average. They'd be below the New Zealand average. Yeah. And then you got people sitting in the middle earning healthy incomes, which are incomes where you'd be a CEO uh, somewhere else. But here's the interesting thing. Uh, the agents work uh, in a lot of cases seven days a week, in a lot of cases six days a week. Not many only work five days a week. Yeah. So for the civilian as such, the person at home that's not an agent, uh, they work five days. Um, agent works seven days. Well, okay. Just take your five days and uh, extrapolate your earnings out as if it was seven days. Mm. Yeah. And then you're probably getting up where the agents are. They work real agents work really working hard hours are completely different. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I think it used to be especially for New Zealand, the average agent commission was around twenty something thousand. When you take all the agents, the top performance and the, the people that are not uh, yeah. producing anything. Yeah, so I'm that's, not sure that's, probably it's Yeah, that's it. So yeah, if if the average I don't know, average income in New Zealand maybe sixty thousand or something. Uh, and the agents, the average in the agents would be 30,000. Mm. A few part-time people in there, no doubt, and that sort of skews that, that statistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, second one. I'm not sure which way this one will go. <laughs> <laughs> New agents don't have any know-how or don't have any skills. <laughs> <laughs> Geez, that's an interesting one, eh? Um, well, they don't have any bad habits. Yeah. And agents, I, I see a lot of agents that I reckon have been in the industry 10 years more. Yeah. And I don't think they've learned much over 10 years. I think they've just convinced themselves and repeated what they've done from the beginning. Yeah. Um, I, and I think there is a lack of sales training in the industry. Mm -hmm. So you've got people that are long term, medium term have very little sales skills and vendors would see that when they're talking to them buyers would see that you know very unsophisticated mm. uh, so if you're, a new agent comes in I think a new agent very quickly uh, can have better skills than somebody who's been sitting around mm. for a long period of time and not trained mm. I think new agents have enthusiasm like no other because yep. with time with experience you just that you know to lose that uh, enthusiasm and actually we, we have uh, a few new agents in the office that are actually extremely successful because they picked up the good habits yep. in good teams yep. right yeah yeah and mentally they're in a better space yeah uh, the poor old salesperson who's been around for a while takes a bit of a caning you know they get beaten <laughs> up by vendors they get beaten up by buyers uh, the new person is like a little puppy dog and eh? turns up <laughs> wagging their tail all excited <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. Uh, I'm not sure if it's very relevant to the cutoff market, but it's still it's a perception out there. The market will go up forever. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how we all felt, mm. uh, especially in New for Zealand 20, for 20 years. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been interesting, and, and this is really interesting actually. It's been interesting to watch how quick it came back down. <laughs> uh, the last increase in the market coming out of COVID was 15 months going up. 
Yeah. Uh, in 12 months, it went down more than it went up in 15. So that was such a correction. Yeah. Here's the other thing to think about. Wool markets always keep going up. Um, I think demand for New Zealand property, Auckland property in particular, is, is high and internationally should be high. But I don't think that many people are coming back. The challenge with the real estate market has always been, and at some stage needs to be resolved, is affordability. Mm. So if we say now, uh, maybe the rule should be that uh, it's only eight, eight times your income or something, uh, it's the total value you can buy. Mm. Well, that just stops the market in its tracks. Yeah. You know, because our prices are crazy, our wages are low. Um, but I, that is that is something like a long-term problem to solve gently. Yeah. Will they always go up? Maybe not. They yeah. shouldn't. They're, they're, yeah. The, what we pay for a house now is, uh, to be honest, very high. Yeah. Yeah. And it probably has to do a lot also with supply. Su yeah, supply and demand. Yes. Yeah. yeah. More supply, the, the more number supply of supply and come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vest, you know what we used to say uh, years and years ago to, to imply there wasn't a lot of uh, supply? We'd say to them, they're not making any more land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, this whole country's empty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just build on the grass out there. Yeah. The next one is reality TV shows it like it is. And we're talking this time real estate shows and real estate anything on reality tv oh. <laughs> now you give me in trouble because i know the guys on those shows so <laughs> oh my god um <clears throat> it's not reality it's definitely not reality it's a show it's a show it's, it's an act it's a stage show um it's it's pumped up a little bit um, I do like that last little one that came through and there was a bit of filming in Queenstown and a very good agent I know down there stropped up the uh, the experts uh, by literally saying, who the hell do you think you guys are? You know nothing about this local market. Uh, and I like that little bit of TV. It's probably the only five minutes I saw. So no, it's, it's, it's only a show. If you saw the reality of being a real estate agent, uh, it would be depressing. <laughs> Someone at their desk, for hours trying to work things out and tidy up reports and yeah, walking the streets, door knocking and pesting people. Yeah. I don't think it'd make a good show. <laughs> okay. The other one is if I sell my home myself, we call it privately, I'm gonna save money. I'm gonna save on the agent's commission. Well you definitely save on the agent's commission, but do do you sell it for less than they would? <laughs> You know, so it, it's just a, uh, I, I think it's a false sense. Yeah. Uh, here, first step, uh, banks look at those transactions and go, hold on, what's wrong here, you know? Mm. Uh, why haven't you used an agent? So they actually like the, uh, mm. the safety net that it went through protection. an agency. Yeah. yeah, the protection that it's a genuine buyer, genuine seller. So I think that's it. And I think for the person selling, um, it is a hard job. It's like, well, you're going to have to put a lot of hours into selling your own house, and uh, you probably it's going to be harder to negotiate if you haven't got the agent in the middle, mm. right? smoothing it over and keeping the parties apart so you can't, you know, sort of make a, a price disclosure at a point when you shouldn't do it. Emotional. So, emotional. Yeah. So yeah, Definitely. you will save the commission 100%. But if your house is worth two million or could have been two million and you sold for one eight, you'll just never know. Mm. Yeah. How much do agents charge? Is that about is that about the fee? About two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I wish for a million dollar house here. Yeah. <laughs> On a two million dollar house, so one eight to two million. But the fee is about two hundred thousand or something, isn't it? <laughs> You'll get comments in the bottom of your Facebook on that, mate. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Agents are all agents are the same. They're interchangeable. It doesn't matter who you're gonna pick. Just probably better pick the, the cheapest one. Hmm. Hard to judge, isn't it? Mm. Hard to judge. Do I go with the agent that's been there a long period of time and made a lot of sales? But does that tell you that the quality of their negotiation was good or not? Um, mm, no. 
and, and same with agencies. If I was selling a lot and I needed an agency that could sell, you know, a thousand houses a year, mm. there'd be one I'd pick. But if I'm only selling one house, then I want higher quality. Yeah. So see, so you, you've got to make that decision. Mm. Are all agents the same? No. Do they look the same? Yes, I think so. Mm. Um, all marketing is pretty much the same. Um, but it's then how does somebody engage and retain the interest off the marketing? Yeah. That's really different. That's really different. So it, it is a hard job, I think, for a vendor to understand the difference or see it. And I think agents all start looking the same and that they create the problem. Yeah. And if, if for example, uh, Kia is selling more cars than Mercedes, is Kia better than Mercedes? What is, what is Kia? <laughs> L lost half of my potential clients now. <laughs> Mate, I'm trying to get Bentley to support us, you know, like I love my Audi, but Bentley, give me a Bentley, we'll drive around in a Bentley. It's just a better Audi, yeah. <laughs> put on Bentley baseball caps. <laughs> a Bentley is a better Audi. <laughs> it is. Same as Lamborghini and the rest of the, the, the Volkswagen group. <laughs> this has got the same engine as the, as the Lambo. Yes. Yeah. 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 So a key is a car? Yeah, electric you mean. Right? Yeah. Oh, yes. is it electric? <laughs> <No>. Electric. <laughs> All right, give me a break. V10 electric. <laughs> uh, next one and the last one would be uh, price your home higher so you can negotiate the price instead of pricing where the market, the market value is. So I'll always price my home a little bit higher so there is a uh, some room for negotiations um, makes sense the the argument would make sense the the mistake is you price too high mm. so and even price it right it, even well, pricing is a mistake well pricing is a mistake until you understand exactly where the market is yes yeah? uh, it, like as a negotiator pricing it is your dumbest strategy you know, your most intelligent strategy is don't tell the market a price, let the market tell you. Mm. And if you like it and it's more than you thought, take it. Yeah, That's an yep. option. Uh, pricing is, uh, normally people are going to price and price high, hoping someone would come up. Um, but if you price too high and it's pretty fine on the margins, if you price too high, the person that should have been the real buyer for it uh, walks away. They yep. don't engage with the salesperson or the agent. So yeah, you lose that in interest uh, as you go through. That's a hard thing to get right. There is a way, you know, mm. as well as I do, yeah. there is a way of getting that right, but most people don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We're, we're done. I think in the next one, we're gonna talk about or debunk a few others, but we're, yep. we're, we're, we're done for this one. And, and I think we did that safely. Yeah. Like we didn't talk about anything that will get no us into much trouble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, well, well done. Good questions. <laughs> awesome. I'm liking the myth. Well awesome, done. guys. If you wanna, if you want your questions answered, just send me a message or comment below the video. And just to remind you that you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Next time. See ya. Bye bye. Ciao.